In this video, I'm going to cover options for inserting and removing rows and columns, plus some keyboard shortcuts that will make you look like a pro. There are a few ways we can adjust the cell height and width, like most things in Excel. You can resize a column or row by left clicking and then dragging to change the height. Or with columns, you can left click and drag to change the width. And notice you get a little tool tip that says the width and the width in pixels. So all you need to do is hover your mouse until the mouse pointer changes to the double headed arrow. If you want to auto fit, you can hover your mouse and then double click to auto fit. You can auto fit multiple rows and columns at the same time, select the ones you want and then double click. Or if you want to select the whole worksheet, put your mouse up in the top left over the triangle Click it, then you can format all row height or all column widths in one go. You'll also find the column and row height tools on the home tab of the ribbon. Over here we have format, row height, column width. We have auto fit, default width as well. If you want to be really specific about your row or column width, you can right click, column width, and in here you can type in a precise value, so 9.5 and press enter. Likewise with rows, row height, let's make that 20. And you can apply that to multiple rows or columns at the same time by selecting them first and then entering your value. So adjusting cell height and width is easy peasy. Let's look at inserting and deleting columns and rows. We can do that by selecting a column or row label, then right click and delete. Likewise for the column, right click and delete. If I only have a single cell or even a few cells selected and then right click, I have insert and delete. It's going to ask me what I want to do with the empty cells. Do I want to shift the data up or to the left? Do I want to get rid of the entire column or the entire rows? If I choose entire row, we're going to lose rows four, five, and six, everything will move up. Likewise, if I want to insert, so if I select a single cell, I can right click insert. It's going to ask me whether I want to shift my cells right down, insert an entire row or insert an entire column. So let's do an entire row. I'll click OK. When you insert rows or columns, they're always inserted above the row you select or to the left of a column you select. So if I insert a column here, it shifts everything across to the right. You'll also find the insert and delete tools on the home tab of the ribbon. Over here we have insert, we can do cells, rows or columns and delete cells, rows and columns. Or you can use shortcut keys. For example, if I select a column and hold down control and press plus, it inserts a column. Likewise, control minus removes a column. And the same for rows, plus adds a row, minus removes the row. Now, if you haven't got a row selected at the time, you can use shortcut keys to select the row. So shift and spacebar selects a row. Then I can do control plus to insert or control minus to remove. Similarly, control spacebar selects a column. I can do control plus to insert and control minus to remove. So you can see there are lots of ways to insert and delete rows, columns, and cells. So you can choose the method that you're comfortable with. To hide a row or column, select the header, right click, hide. Notice with the column hidden, we get this little gray indicator between columns B and D to show that something is hidden. The same happens when you hide a row. We get that little indicator. Now we can unhide a row by selecting the rows either side. Hover your mouse until you get the double headed arrow and then double click. It unhides it. Likewise for the column. Or you can hide a column and then to unhide, select the two columns either side, right click and unhide. And the same applies to the rows. You'll also find the hide and unhide tools on the home tab of the ribbon under format. And then in visibility, you can hide rows, columns, even the sheet. With this tool, I don't need a whole column or row selected. I can hide rows from that dialog box and unhide them. 
So that sums up working with cells, rows and columns. Have a play around, familiarise yourself and then I'll see you in the next lesson.